Our program today is once again about loudspeakers, though in yesterday's program we talked about active and passive crossovers. Today we're going to answer a very specific question about the upcoming line of PS audio speakers based on the work of the late Arnie Nudell, my, my good friend. And we all miss the Arnold. John in Richland, Washington writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, I have a question relating to PS Audio speaker development. You've mentioned Arnie Nudell of Infinity fame and you said that he's going to uh, design PS Audio's new loudspeakers. What design philosophies are you incorporating to distinguish them from the crowd? Will you use inspiration from Infinity and Genesis? And what crowd is it aimed at? Affordable-minded or specialized high-end? I've spoken about Arnie before. I mean, he, he and I go back. We have so much history together. And it was truly a shock and a loss to the whole world when Arnie died. And yes, he was. We had worked already for about a year on a line of speakers for PS Audio a line that uh, both Arnie and I were very passionate about. And, you know, life just sometimes it's over. And that's what happened with Arnie. And we will carry on. We have his reference system from which he's, his spirit lives on. We will set that up. I know exactly, as, which is what Arnie would have done. Arnie, in, in designing these speakers, um, would have used all the concepts that he and I had discussed and the ideas and the drivers and he would have then set to work voicing those speakers to match and hopefully be as good as his reference speakers which we have so that's how that's all going to work that he's not here and your question goes into you know what's going to distinguish these speakers that PS Audio is intending to make from others well it's going to be quite a few things and that Arnie and I had conspired on for a number of years. I mean, we're talking many glasses of wine and fine dinners together talking about the ultimate holy grail in loudspeakers. Now, you all know that I have the IRS-5 and it is an amazing loudspeaker. Is it perfect? No, of course not. There, there is no such thing as a perfect loudspeaker. But it's pretty damn good. One of the things that the IRS-5 does is has uh, it, it, its ability to create a sound stage that is unfettered by dynamics, unencumbered by any kind of compression whatsoever. Kind of like uh, using a thousand watt amplifier on a bookshelf speaker. Why would you do that? Because you never want that sound, regardless of how loud the bookshelf gets, to ever get compressed in terms of dynamics or linearity. Because as, as I've discussed in, in, in videos and, and podcasts before, amplifiers have a limited range of linearity the, the 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 area where they are most linear where voltage in equals voltage out and we're not distorting or using feedback or things to correct for it and and that area is fairly small 10 20 percent of an amplifier and the rest of it is starting to fall outside its areas of linearity and so that's why we want to use a fairly large wattage amplifier for small speaker gains because we want to stay in that linear region. So some of the conversations Arnie and I would have is, you know, how is it that all of us can tell when something is actually playing live versus something that has been reproduced? You've probably had the experience where you walk by uh, 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 you're in a hotel and you're walking around the hotel and you hear the sounds of somebody playing the piano. Maybe it's in another room. But you always know it's a live pianist as opposed to uh, a recording of that. Or you know, I, I've had experiences where I'm walking down the street and I hear somebody strumming their guitar in a bedroom through an open window. And I can tell instantly that they're alive. And I think the reason for that, both Arnie and I believe this, 
was the unfettered dynamic range capabilities of particular drivers. And so that's one of the things that we will be focusing on. And to do that, we're coming up with a new class of driver that will either be a folded ribbon or some variation of that, perhaps a big ribbon. But ribbons are very fast. And the trick here, and the thing that no one's ever quite done yet, is to make the all-important mid-base and mid-range areas, the upper mid-base areas, efficient and very efficient. We're talking 100 dB, 97 dB, as close as we can get to that, so that even the smallest amps or the biggest amps can, can make this speaker come alive with dynamics that are never restricted, ever, so that we can reach 120, 130 dB peak dynamics which is going to capture the actual essence of live music. And that, that's what we, that'll be one of the core tenets of it. Another one will be, of course, it's going to have servo controlled active bass woofers because whatever speakers we build for our main line of speakers, they will be full range in your room and they'll be done. We've got some great ideas. So servo controlled, very efficient, very dynamic, very linear, uh, just just very open, and all of it in the spirit that Arnie would have wanted, and uh, and we have our work cut out for us. This is not going to to be easy. Oh, and the other question he asked: what, What's our range? Well, target range. These will all be built right here in Boulder. Target range: twenty thousand for for the the big dogs, ten thousand for the middle ones, and. Five to six thousand for the the uh, the first tier, the first level speakers. All of them full range, all of them floor standing, and you'll just whatever you can afford. This will be a great speaker. And one of the things, uh, and I'll I'll end it. I know I'm going too long here. Sorry. Um, I've always wanted to be able to say to somebody, picks up the phone, say, you know, hey Paul, I'd love to have the IRS five, but you know, hey, I can't afford the, the real estate or the cost of it. If I could tell somebody, you know what, grab a pair of these five, six, whatever they wind up being, you know, let's call them 7,000 because we rarely <laughs> meet, meet price targets, uh, and a stellar stack, a pair of M700 monos and a gain cell DAC, and these speakers, you're under $10,000 and you should get pretty dang close to the sound of that IRS-5 in your house. Now that is what we're trying to do. And that will differentiate it from anything else out there in the world today. So, hope that answers your question. Thanks for asking it.